Greetings, denizens of the interwebs. Grim Fury here. And as you can tell by the title below, no Z box to open. <laughs> Sad face. So, I only have one alternative, and that's to do another rant. Because we should get something next month, if not next month, next week. If not the, the Z box, which I'm really hoping to get then I should have, at the very least, my Snack Nation box. So, with that little disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? This happens to me all the time, every single day. I do not think a single day goes by that this doesn't happen. You know, customers in line, whether they're the customer that I'm taking care of at that time or the customer behind them. They're unloading their cart or their basket or whatever and they come across something that for whatever reason they have changed their mind about. Do they hand it to me and say, hey, I've changed my mind about this or I no longer want this or I don't longer need it or this isn't the color I wanted, or whatever. Do they do that? No. What do they do with it? They set it on top of the soda coolers. They take it and they uh, set it up where the gift cards are. Well, that's a soda cooler, but anyways. Or they'll take it and they'll set it on... Uh, the shelves that's got the impulse items on it or they'll shove it in there so it completely displaces you know half a row of crap because they decide not to hand it to me this is one of my biggest pet peeves because I don't understand why you they do that it doesn't make any sense you're loading your stuff onto the belt I'm going to be handling those groceries and non-food items, you know, the stuff you put on the belt, I'm going to be handling it. I'm going to be picking it up, I'm going to be scanning it, and I'm going to either be setting it in a bag or on top of the carousel or handing it back to you depending on what it is. I know how to handle the products that are in front of me. Is there some reason you think that I'm not going to know what to do with it? You know, what is it? You know, like, I decided I don't want this soda. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I wasn't trained, um, on what to do with something that a customer doesn't want. Please help me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> no. And I have to wait to open that up. Uh, I know what to do. Because there are times when the customer, you know, gets something and after I scan it for some reason, like for example, you know, I scan something and I set it on top. And they realize maybe the package is torn, has a little hole in it. And they're like, hey, this is like this. Um, so I'm just going to wait and get it another time. And they see me, I pick it up, and I set it off to the side. I'm surprised that, that I haven't had a single customer just stop dead in their tracks with their jaw on the floor like... They know what to do with stuff we don't want. Whatever shall we do with this knowledge? Eh, we'll just forget about it. Because they will continue to just set stuff everywhere and pile it up and put big items on there. It's like, hey, jackass, I'm right freaking here. Hand it to me. How hard is it? Or if you're the next customer, keep it in your freaking basket until it's your turn and then say, I don't want it. I've changed my mind. You know, 
my girlfriend said the, the, the genuine leather whip, and this one is imitation leather. We know what to do with the crap you don't want. I had a customer today. Like I said, it happens every day. Actually, I've had several of them, but one of them that I found, I don't know. I don't know why, maybe I just saw, I actually saw him, you know, do it or not do it. He had one of those multi-packs of gum, you know, that, you know, little, that you hang up. It's got like, I think it's got three of the big square packs in there. He has it in his hand and he stops for a second and he's looking around and then he backtracks and goes to the next um, aisle over. And then he comes back with a single thing of gum. Did he bring the big pack with him? And hand it to me and say, I changed my mind. I only want one. I don't need all of this. No, he did not. He left it on the other side, stuck it in one of the open boxes of candy. Do you people even have any idea when we see you do that, especially if it's a perishable item, do you have any idea how many times in our head we have, like, punched you in the face? I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea. For me personally, how many times I picture myself punching you in the face is <laughs> going to be... This many times. It's not rocket science. It's common sense. It's common decency. I know you think, well, I don't have to worry about it because it's, you know, I'm not paying for it. You know, so what do I care if it sits there and if it's a frozen item and it completely th thaws out and they have to claim it and take a loss on the money? It's not coming out of my pocket. Guess what, jackass? When those prices go up, when you're paying $2 for your Hot Pockets and the next thing you know, it's two twenty-five. guess what? Some of that is because of, some of it is because of inflation or the cost of the products, but some of it is because... You kept throwing those big packages of steak that you didn't want on top of the coolers or you left them in with the jeans or you decided to buy a, you know, two or three big bags of the frozen shrimp and decided that you didn't want them. So you figure, oh, these are frozen. I'll set them in this cooler. It's the same freaking thing. No, it's not. Cold items go in coolers, in refrigerators. Frozen items go in freezers. Somehow, I think you understand that concept already. Because I bet when you get home and you're putting your little groceries away, you don't go, hmm, popsicles. Where do those go again? I think they go in the pantry. That's got to be it. And this gallon of milk, that definitely goes in the freezer. If you're that kind of person, all I can say is, please, for the love of God, just do me one little favor and go chase headlights. Super easy game. Even a moron like you can follow it. Just wait till till nighttime when it's nice and dark go out onto the road and the first set of headlights you see coming towards you try to catch them run straight for them and try to catch them you'll be doing all of us a big big favor because there is absolutely no reason to do this if you don't want the item for what the hell if you're out there on the sales floor, or whatever the heck you want to call it, and you've changed your mind, especially if it's perishable, go put it back.
don't dump it off somewhere. Or if you change your mind at the register, give it to the cashier. I mean, heck, it's been a while, but I actually had a cashier, a cashier, had a customer that I was taking care of. She was right where the little thing is. It's got the card reader and it's got the little platform. And she had something in her hand. There was no other customer. She, I don't remember what it was. She had something that she changed her mind about. I was right in front of her. Literally right in front of her. She turns around and walks, what is it, six, eight feet? And sets it on top of the soda cooler. It's not like you were saving yourself steps. You were going further. You could have said, here, I don't want it. No. You walked like six, eight, ten feet to set it on top of the cooler. I could have taken one of those order separators and I could have just right between the running lights. I just don't understand. Ugh. Don't do that crap. I know any of you out there that are watching this, that are cashiers, you're with me on this. It's happened to you a hundred times. And I'm sure you just want to beat the living hell out of that customer. But unfortunately, you can't because it's illegal. <laughs> That's why in ev I think in every business, it, but especially retail, needs one day, call it, I don't know, speak your mind day or whatever, and all employees of retail are allowed to speak their mind, say anything they want to a customer and there be absolutely no ramifications at all. That needs to happen. Because oh, there are so many things I want to yell at customers. But those that be like, hey, jackass, over here. Do you not see me? I'm not exactly transparent. I don't shop in the petite section of the store. As it is, this shirt right here is a three extra fluffy. Just hand the item over to the big ugly cashier. It's real simple. Come on, you can do it. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, maybe you can't. Uh, I just don't understand. It just, it doesn't make any sense to me. And there, it's not like it's just one person here, one person there. It happens every single day. Even at the the self-serves, the self-checkouts, whatever you want to call them, there's platforms there where they set their stuff, you know, if they have a small amount or a little basket or whatever. Actually, they're, you know, on the great big ones, they have a little tiny little shelf there, I guess, where you could set your little basket or your purse or whatever. And usually the small smaller ones, they have a soda cooler right next to it. But they leave shit they don't want. They don't take it up to the uh, person that's running th that little area or, you know, wave them down and say, hey, we changed our mind on this. No, they just leave them there. And that's the part that boggles them, especially the ones that are at a regular register that has a belt. They take the stuff out of the shopping cart, put it on the belt. The belt magically moves towards the cashier that picks it up and scans it and puts it in their bag. They're handling the merchandise. They're doing their job, and yet the stuff they don't want that they've changed their mind about before they put it on the belt or right after they put it on the belt, it's got to go up and somewhere else. And it just... It, 
It doesn't make sense. It's, it's not like we don't see you do it. We see you do it. It annoys the hell out of us. I mean, is it that, you know, you feel embarrassed that you don't want it? Would you rather have the feeling of embarrassment or have the feeling that we are now killing you in our heads? I would rather be just a little bit, you know, I mean, I've had to change my mind on a couple of things or I gr accidentally grabbed the wrong thing. I've done... I've done that a couple of times. I can't, I can't think of, there was, so, it was, I don't know, a couple of months ago, I was buying a picture frame. Uh, it was for, uh, for something. Oh, for, for something I, I printed off on my printer. And it's a full size picture. Um, so I needed the eight, was it eight and a half, uh, by 11 frame. And I was looking at the at those frames, and somebody had stuck an eight by ten frame in that area, so I accidentally grabbed an eight by ten. But I didn't know it until I got to the self serves, and I was ringing myself up, and I noticed it after I scanned it that this is the wrong size. So. I deleted it off and I handed it to the person that was there. I said, I accidentally grabbed the wrong size. I'll get the one I need tomorrow. It wasn't that hard to do. It was really super easy. So I don't get why you morons out there can't do the same thing. Was it embarrassing? Um, no. I mean, I felt, I mean, I felt maybe that much like an idiot for not really paying attention, but I was in that area where the right ones were. There was just one in the wrong place. So, you know, it's not that hard of a concept. It's not that hard of a thing to do. You don't want it, give it to the cashier. Super simple, super easy. We get it all together, especially if it's a cold item that we can usually get somebody to take it back before it grows fuzz and runs off on its own. Oh, there's so so many stupid people out there that I cannot believe it. If, and it, you know, in case you hadn't seen last week's video, please go check that one out. I went all kinds of crazy and weird on that one. I know, big surprise. But anyways, folks, I'm going to go ahead and say that's going to be it for this video. So... Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click the little notification bell, so that way you get notified every time I post a new video, which is usually, you know, on Tuesdays, and hopefully, hopefully, next week, um, I'll have my, my Z-Box, because I'm really looking forward to that, uh, but, like I said, just, we just never know one week from the next. So, anyways, thank you all for joining me, watching my video, putting up with my nonsense and my weirdness and my craziness. <laughs> uh, God love me. <laughs> but, so, <laughs> take care, everyone. I love you guys. Thank you for watching me, putting up with me, supporting me. And I... Hope you all have a great day. Have a great week. We're getting some cold weather. A little bit of cold weather coming in. Possibly a little bit of snow. But I'm sure it won't amount to anything. Probably melt on contact. But anyways, be careful out there. Stay nice and toasty warm. And I'll see you all next Tuesday for a new video. Take care, everyone. Toodles!